we are with my aunt-in-law and we're gonna go check out how she farms abalone. So our journey began at the bottom of Korea. The interesting thing that I learned is that abalone are not here naturally. This environment is just perfect for them to live and grow well. Therefore, my aunt-in-law purchases the baby abalone and then raises them on her farm. To harvest the grown abalone, we took a boat out into the ocean to where her farm is. The abalone live inside of these nets. As my uncle-in-law pulls up the ropes, he removes any mussels, etc. living on top of the rope so that the rope stays in a good condition. You have to be strong to do this job because not only do you have to hoist the rope, but the abalone have a strong suctioned grip and you need serious arm strength to yank those suckers off the side. It was amazing, the abalone were the size of my palm. We kept the abalones on their backs so that they would not attach to the boat. Also, my uncle-in-law grabbed some oysters and mussels that were also there to eat later as well. These abalone were so active it was an amazing experience. I've never seen anything like it before. Once back, we walked the deck and I saw a bunch of starfish. I learned that these starfish cause big problems for fishermen and so if you see them, do not throw them back in the water. Well, thank you for joining me on this journey to see where abalone comes from. Please like and subscribe, and if you want to support me further, then check out my blog at hiscreastomach.com. Thank you for finding out where your food comes from, and I hope you have a great day.